let's take a look at interfacing the light time wireless expression pedal system with the Axe FX3. What we need to do is run a typical TRS cable from the pedal out. I'm going into pedal one in on the back of the Axe FX. I'm taking another TRS cable out of the switch output to the pedal two input on the back of the Axe FX. Now that we've made the physical connections, we can turn on the control station and the orbiter wireless pedal. Now we have to set up these pedal one and pedal two inputs inside the Axe FX. So we'll go to setup and we'll nav down to IO and we'll hit enter. And you can see pedal one type is correct as a continuous controller. If you'd like to calibrate that, we can hit enter. We can move the pedal up and down a couple times and hit enter again. Now you're all calibrated and you can see the level changing here on pedal one. Next, we'll go down to the pedal two input. We want that set at latching because that's what kind of uh, switch we're gonna use to control uh, the block on off parameter, the bypass parameter. Okay, now we can exit from the IO page and we can nav down to utilities. If you'd like to have another look at your inputs, hit enter and then page over to ADC levels. Now you can see pedal one is going all the way up and down. It's not including the changes for the pedal calibration, but you can see the inputs here. Uh, pedal two, then you'll see change its value from 98% down to zero. So that's all that needs to change a bypass switch in the blocks. And we'll go to that next. Going back to the X edit software, we can see that we have a wah block instantiated. So we're gonna right click on the uh, control knob. That'll bring up the modifier page here. We're gonna select pedal one as the source. And then we move the pedal. We can see the levels change here in the curve window. I like to drop the uh, delay on the attack here that's just built in to eliminate any accidental triggering or jitter from analog pedals. Okay, next thing we're going to do is address the bypass. So we'll right click on the bypass and bring up its modifier page and we're going to select pedal 2 which is the switch input. And again, I'm going to drop the attack delay out of there just so we have uh, instant movement when we click the toe switch on the wah pedal. You can see that uh, changing, that value changing from on to off here. So uh, now when we click the toe switch, we can see the wah block going in and out. And when we move the pedal, uh, back and forth, of course, we can see the control knob uh, going through its range of motion. Now you have a wireless expression pedal that acts just like an old school watt pedal. Thanks for tuning in. Check out my website for more info. Lighttime.com